Welcome back to the yoga show. We have some changes today on a beautiful summer day. Let's stand nice and tall on our beautiful beach, toes forward, feet relatively under the hips in a tall, wide mountain pose right here. And just take your pinky fingers on your exhale and slowly slide down your legs. So welcome to our new digs here at Auburn Video Atwood Video Productions, excuse me. We are Auburn Community Television. Inhale, reach all the way up here, lace the fingers and reach. And our new venue here is Atwood Video Productions here in Auburn, California. And as I say, we're on the beach. Enjoy yourselves. Today we are stretching for success. Tape number two, we stretched for success a few months ago. We're gonna add a few more things to that. So just take your hips from side to side a little bit. Let's review some good alignment. Toes facing forward, legs nice and straight. Inhale and take the ribs nice and tall. Keep your legs nice and straight, pull the stomach in. Nice, tall stance. And take your hands to the outer hips here. Inhale and lengthen, drawing the crown up and exhale as you slide down the legs just a little bit. Now just enough to feel a light stretch here. We're not trying to reach for our feet, okay? We're just feeling a light little stretch, abs tight. Inhale on the way up and exhale as we take it to side two. And inhale up, exhale, and inhale, and exhale. So you're gonna feel, with your abs in nice and tight, you're gonna feel your low back working a little bit here. Now if your low back is a little bit too sensitive for this, take your feet a little wider apart and let your hips sway a little bit as you slide down. And you'll find this is a lot more comfortable if you have any kind of low back issues. So we're just getting our low back going here. Enjoying the sun on the beach and what better place to do yoga. Inhale, pull all the way up to extended mountain pose, pointing to the sky. If you have any shoulder issues, grab your hands, lace your fingers like I am, and just reach tall. Now root the feet, feet are about hip width apart now, toes forward, legs nice and straight. Pull the abs in and right here, just enjoy yourself. Reaching tall, keeping the shoulder blades downward, slightly away from the ears, and you can look up or you can look forward. And relax those hands, arms, and shoulders. Slide down to your thighs and take a little bend in the knees. Everything in alignment. As I turn a little bit sideways to help us out here, let's take a nice puppy dog stretch. Arching the spine, press on the legs a little bit, and we'll get that back going so the back is pliable. Exhale as you take your cat stretch. Inhale a little bit of a push here, and exhale, cat stretch. Really rounding, now draw the stomach in tight here. Inhale. So remember before we stretch, we always want to warm up a little bit. Always warming up a little bit. That's very, very important. So we're gonna be stretching pretty much the whole body today. But for example, if you're going out for a walk or a run, the first thing you'd wanna do is walk slowly. You're warming up your ankles, you're warming up your feet. Very, very important. Let's take two more of these. You really feel a little back compression here on the front body stretching, and on the exhale, we feel that back opening up. Let's take one more. And exhale right here. Now hold that cat stretch. Press your hands onto your thighs a little bit as if you're pressing your body away from your thighs. Pull the abs in deeper and find that the back is rounding, of course. You're bringing space into the vertebrae and just drop your hands right here. Your legs are bent, your feet are firmly planted and that feels very, very good. Slowly draw up one vertebra at a time, slowly. Come all the way up 
Nice job. Bring your arms all the way up again. And come to heart center. And let's take the feet out. So we're going to get the legs going a little bit here. Toes out. Knees facing out. A bit of a V. And you're in a bit of a plie squat here. So we're going to take it down right here and just kind of shimmy side to side a little bit. Feel that you're warming up these muscles a little. You can kind of feel this, yes, in your adductors. This is a very gentle stretch today. So um, be mindful that we are in good alignment and so on, but we're going to be pretty gentle on ourselves. Now right here, what do we want to be careful of? Don't let the knees collapse in, okay, or forward. We're drawing these outer thighs backward toward the ocean backward toward the ocean. Slide side to side. If you'd like, bring your arms down to your legs a little bit here. Now, I'm not really leaning. I've got my arms braced slightly inside, and I'm drawing my thighs backward toward the ocean. <laughs> Isn't this wonderful? Digital is fantastic. Sliding side to side. Now, is your back flat? Are your abdominals in? I know that you're feeling this here in your adductors. That's just what we want here. Soften your knees. Now press deep into the sand. Press deep into the ground and slowly roll up. Now we're going to add a little something to this. Now we're going to get the hips going a little bit more and the thighs going a little bit more. I want you to inhale when you come down and exhale when you come up. Now we're going to take a little change here. We're going to bring one knee up and out. Inhale and it takes a little balance, and exhale. Don't worry, the first two or three are kind of hard, and lift. Inhale, now it takes a little balance right there, so you gotta focus, use your drishti, focus on that spot, inhale, and exhale. You can put your hands anywhere you'd like, whatever helps you balance. Now you notice I'm bringing my knee outward. I'm abducting, I'm not bringing it forward. This doesn't do much right here, we'll work on that later and lift, and inhale, and lift. How are we doing? Aren't you glad you tuned in? This is a little work. All right, now let's change sides. Take an inhale down, take a rest anytime you want. Exhale, take that balance. A little pause down, a little pause up, and inhale, and lift. Inhale, exhale. So here's your foundation leg. Stay focused, and inhale. Exhale, two more. Inhale, exhale, and inhale. Take a little break. Exhale. Relax right here. Shake out your legs a little bit. Coming back into mountain pose. I'm going to work on the back a little bit more. That was a little aerobic, wasn't it? All right, nice and tall. Again, feet, knees about hip width apart. Bring your hands to the opposite shoulder if that works for you. We're in mountain pose, you can bend the knees and we're gonna come around the clock with the elbows. Take an inhale to begin and an exhale. Come around, here we go, 12 o'clock, nine o'clock, eight o'clock, six o'clock, and lifting three o'clock, two o'clock, and 12. Other way, exhale. Inhale, lift, and exhale. Now you're really working on the low and middle back here. So be efficient. Try not to sway your legs all over the place, okay? Exhale, bring it around, and inhale, and exhale. Now, keeping our stomach in, this protects our low back. You can really feel this working, and exhale. So what are we still doing? We're warming up, stretching, is so good for us. One more. And release. Stretching is so wonderful for us because it keeps a nice range of motion in the body. It keeps a nice range of motion in the joints. That's what range of motion is. Range of motion about the joint. Not range of motion about the muscle. Range of motion about the joint. Stretching is wonderful. It brings in more blood flow. All kinds of good things. Better circulation. Now we're going to come into our mountain pose. Again, we're going to take an inhale with one leg back, whatever you prefer. I'm going to start with my right. Inhale, taking it back to a lunge. The body's nice and tall. And exhale, same thing again. Exhale. A little harder on the sand today. And inhale. And exhale. Really? Use the functionality 
of your foundation like stomach in and exhale. Now we're bringing that knee up to the sky. We're not bringing the knee here and the foot to the knee like a ballerina. Okay, we're getting the knee up so we have good range of motion in that hip. Right here, if our foot is here, we can't lift anything. So inhale, okay, I'm getting out of breath. And exhale, let's take two or three more. That should be about eight. Abs tight, exhale, take that pause. And inhale, and exhale. And last one, inhale, and exhale. And side two, shake everything out. Relax the shoulders. Open up the shoulders a little bit, we'll go to side two. Ah, that feels good. Remembering also standing tall. Stretching keeps us standing tall. We wanna focus on keeping our rear delts toward the center and drawing the scapula together at all times. Let's take leg number two back on the inhale. Nice deep breath, inhale back and exhale lift. Inhale back, here's two and exhale. See, uneven ground <laughs> and inhale. This is four, I think, foundation leg and inhale. We want that back knee bent. This is not a warrior pose. So bring that back knee down and stop talking and then you won't lose your balance. Two more. And exhale. And inhale. Tight abdominals. And last one. And exhale. And release. Good job. Take an inhale all the way up. Exhale when you're ready. Take a gentle forward bend and relax all the way down. Let the back loosen up here so we can relieve some of that compression in our vertebrae, create some space in between the vertebrae. Pull your abdominals in moderately and feel the space coming into your spine. This is wonderful. Flatten the feet, slightly pull the ground apart ever so slightly with the feet, just a little bit of a drag and feel that Activation all the way up the back of the legs, all the way up to your gluteals. Relaxing your head and shoulders. And breathe. Take an inhale. Half lift here using your hands on the legs or on the ground. If you can reach, step back with one foot and have a seat on the ground. Ah, oh, okay. The sun is bright. Now we're going to take a bit of a camel pose, all right? We're on the knees. I'm gonna turn just a little bit sideways for us. Now, I like to tuck my feet on camel pose. We're just gonna do a very, very gentle one here because we're gonna take another bit of a back um, uh, roll. Let's just call it a roll. So we come up and stand up for camel. Take one hand behind that hamstrings, okay? One hand behind. Or you can take your fist to the lumbar spine and release your ribs backward, very gently. Just release backward. Now the abs have to be tight here. Let's try that again. Inhale straight up, press the feet down. You can tuck your toes back here if you'd like to, all right? And just drop the ribs back and we're keeping our lower body very engaged here. Now this is just a small camel. We're gonna bring it up and the same thing again, hands to the opposite shoulder. Come around to the other side, sit your hips back a little, roll around and up, and roll around, and let's do side two. Take the hand behind the hamstrings or the lumbar spine with your hips. Inhale, pull the abs in tight, tuck your toes if you'd like, and let your ribs draw back, abs tight. Now remember, this is just a very modified camel pose. You're still feeling the pelvis and the quads drive forward a little bit, that's just fine. That's absolutely fine. And you can bring your other arm up if you want or to center. And just holding here, letting your ribs draw back. Remember, this is not a twist. Your heart is facing straight up to the sky. Relax the head. A couple of breaths here. Not a long stretch, abs tight. Inhale back to center and exhale. Side two, bringing it up. Yeah, you can start your circle in either direction, doesn't matter. And relax back down. Now to release here and counter stretch, we're gonna go into cap happy baby because that was a bit of a compression of the spine. So now we're going to elongate and flex the spine. So we draw our legs up, your feet, 
Flat feet are right up above the knees. We're not here above the knees, and we're going to draw our tailbone or our entire spine down and grab the bottoms of the feet here. Take an inhale and draw down your scapula so your back is flat, and on your exhale, draw your feet down toward the ground, bringing your knees in towards your armpits, and feel this wonderful stretch, not only in your low back, but in the hamstrings. And just breathe. Stomach moderately in. Breathing through it. The secret to wonderful stretching is breathing through it. Because on every exhale, long as, of course, we're not straining, we should never be straining in a stretch. On every exhale, our stretch deepens a little bit. And on every inhale, we want to be cognizant that we are elongating our vertebrae. We're elongating the spine. In other words, just keep making yourself taller. Because as we stretch, go ahead and drop one leg for a one-legged happy baby, both hands to this top leg, and draw that knee a little further into the armpit as you extend the long leg, and attempt to bring the hamstrings down to the ground. Now, this is not as easy. Okay, drawing the hamstrings down, and notice your sacrum, your tailbone is drawing down a little bit. This is fabulous. So besides increased blood circulation, we're bringing, of course, more oxygen into our blood, more oxygen into the muscles. This is fabulous also for the metabolism and overall health. And release that leg, bend the other leg, and let's go to that same half a happy baby. Getting into position first, both hands at the bottom of the foot, and release that bottom leg. Just let it fall. So as we grow older, what do we want? Besides to be healthy, we want to stand tall. We don't want to be all hunched over. We want to stand very tall. All the way up to the crown of the head, right? And that's why we want to stretch. Stretching is wonderful when you wake up in the morning and before you go to bed. Maybe after you've walked the family dog, any time. And of course, always after your workout. Now draw down the hamstrings again a little deeper to the ground. Feel that your tailbone is rolling a little bit closer to the ground here. And just enjoy and release that leg. Draw forward onto your feet. Now take a nice breath. Use your abdominals. Deep inhale and exhale. Bring it up. Good. And let's roll forward and take a bit of a malasana, just a modified malasana or garland pose today. Roll back onto flat feet. Pull your feet out for a nice wide forward bend and turn the toes out. Come up into a half lift and on your exhale, we're gonna take that squat again. You can put your hands anywhere you want here. If you've never done this before, please use your hands. And if you need to, you can put some sort of a pillow or a block underneath between your feet and we're gently lowering trying to keep our feet very flat trying to keep our heels on the ground don't lift the heels up into the air but if you would like to lift them up and put them on a towel that's absolutely fine drawing your arms inside this is garland pose now to get a little more depth and a little more work in the belly we can modify this a little bit harder to be a little bit more difficult okay we're drawing the legs back i'll show you that in just a moment Oh, it's a beautiful day here. I wonder what island we're on. I have no idea. Let's just imagine something, and we'll breathe right through it. Now, you can hold right here. Keep that stretch going, abs tight, or take a deep inhale. And we're going to draw our abs even more, and we're going to crawl forward with our fingers, and our chest is going to come down between our biceps. And we're going to look right through our feet, to what's behind us. Pull your abs in tight. Now you notice as you crawl your fingers forward and you pull your abs in tighter, yes, your upper back is rounding, that's okay. Reach deeply, reach. Feel the abs working. Pull the stomach in tighter and tighter and tighter. Feet are flat. Pull in tighter. This is difficult, keep breathing. Keep breathing deeply. Enjoy that beautiful breath, that beautiful life. Bring it to center, 
and let's rock forward a little for safety till our hands touch the ground and release our feet. If you prefer, you, if you're advanced, you can go into crow pose from here. All right, relax the shoulders. And we're gonna take this a little bit to the hamstrings. When we were doing our happy baby, we activated our hamstrings quite a bit. We're gonna draw this now into pyramid. So let's take a nice downward facing dog. When you're ready, inhale as you reach forward and exhale into your downward facing dog. We move forward a little bit here, pressing the heels down a little bit. Breathe. Stretch, we're pushing the beach away from us. We're pressing away from the feet, forward and away, and slowly drawing our heels down. Sand's a little slippery, so I need to adjust. Breathing beautifully, beautifully, beautifully. Lift the heels all the way up here, lower the knees, and right here, to go into our pyramid, we're going to get our um, Achilles tendons a little bit more ready for our pyramid pose. So bring one foot approximately next to the knee, bringing your hips up. Now your foot can start out forward of the knee. This leg, the back leg, we have our hip and our knee and our foot in very good alignment, okay? And this is hip width apart. Our foot number two is hip width apart. And if this is not enough stretch, which we will be feeling right in here, we simply draw this knee forward or this foot backward. So I do this stretch quite a bit, so I'm not too bad at this stretch. So we're gonna keep our hips up, rock forward a little bit, glue down, root down this front heel, and you're gonna feel this stretch as you hug this front leg just a little bit. Turn sideways a little bit more. And you can sort of rock forward a little bit. Now do remember what's very important about this stretch is we need this heel down. We need this heel down nice and flat. And we're feeling this in the Achilles. If you want to brace even further, grab your big toe and enjoy this. And this is fabulous. So it's really easy to adjust this stretch without coming out of it. We just take that low knee and move it forward or backward. Forward if the stretch is too easy for you, and backward if the stretch is too much for you. Hold your abdominals in, release. Now remember on our stretches, release comfortably. Let your back and your joints go back to neutral. And we wanna hold these stretches a lot longer than we are today. So we wanna hold stretches no less than 60 seconds. Today we're only making about five breaths, maybe 30 seconds, something like that. So let's switch sides. This foot is nice and flat. We're coming into our crash pose again. This is crash pose for some of you that uh, are rollerbladers. You might already know about this stretch. Flattening that front foot very well, taking that good leverage and drawing that heel down for a nice Achilles stretch. This is fabulous. This is absolutely fabulous. Your legs and your ankles feel so good when you're walking when you do this stretch. We are ready now for our pyramid pose. Bring your hands down. Bring yourself into forward bend. And take one leg backward at an angle, not quite as wide or deep as a lunge. The back foot is at a slight, maybe oh, 30 degree angle perhaps. We're drawing the back heel down. Our hips, you're gonna feel they wanna roll to the side of that front foot. Don't let that happen. We're drawing this hip straight backward and we're dropping the ribs right over that leg and we're feeling this in the left hamstrings or the hamstrings of the front leg, depending on your leg. I'm stretching my left leg right now, reaching and relaxing. Breathing again, we'd like to hold this stretch probably at least 30 seconds, but hopefully a minute, bend the knees. Inhale, come forward to forward bend, exhale, release. Inhale, lengthen and step back with foot number two. Both legs are straight and the back foot angled a little bit as we draw this hip backward and keep our hips very square, very square. This is a gentle move. Remember, we're feeling it in the front hamstrings. We're drawing this hip back. The back foot is angled, the stomach is in and you can fold if you'd like over that front leg or if you'd like to stay in a lift, that's fine too. Breathing, breathing, breathing.
bending the knees and having a seat when you're ready. Relax and we'll work on stretching our back a little bit in a nice spinal twist, coming backward, rolling back with the knees and feet up. This is always dessert. Bring the arms out to the side. We'll take a little bit of a deeper spinal twist today. Cross the right leg. You're gonna feel this a little bit more in the left, ITB, as the feet drop over. Now remember, the goal is not to get way down here and then whatever happens, happens. Keep both shoulders down, your arms at the side, and just let your knees drop. So we wanna let them drop with gravity, with gravity. And look to the opposite side and just breathe here. Comfortably, your abdominals are in moderately here. Enjoying this beautiful stretch. If this is too much for you, uncross the legs and let your knees drop to the side, keeping both shoulders down. Breathing, releasing. The weight of this right leg is actually the boss of this stretch. Inhale on your way up, feeling your hips come back to neutral and cross the left leg over the right leg. Relaxing here, now don't squeeze, just a nice cross, take an inhale, and then on your exhale, we're letting our legs drop to the left side, very comfortably looking in the opposite direction. Enjoying our day in the sun. Releasing. Releasing and breathing. So those are some very gentle stretches today as we elongate. Inhale, exhale, up, bent leg. If you'd like, come into boat pose and relax the legs in front of you. Oh, very refreshing, very refreshing. Now, how do we feel? Try to sit as tall as you can. Relaxing those shoulders. Inhale, draw the crown up nice and tall. Bring your hands to your sides and see if you can draw your scapula to the center. So we want to make sure we're not sitting like this. We want to always sit very, very tall. Very tall. Inhale as you rise up. Take the legs out if you want for one final stretch. Inhale as you lengthen. Exhale as you come forward, not down, but forward. Just relax your elbows down. If they don't come down, keep your hands right here or your hands on the legs and stay here for, seriously, about five minutes with your knees soft and the knees and toes facing up. This is very rejuvenating, shifting a little bit side to side, just enjoying ourselves on the beach today and us here at Auburn Community TV. We welcome the yoga show back again after a brief hiatus, and we are here and thankful and grateful for Atwood Video Productions here in Auburn, California. I'm Gwen Jones. Thank you for watching the yoga show today. Namaste. Stay strong.